Charlotte Ford Writers Review. I'm standing here with Mike Henson in front of his house. Dreams really do come true. Really excited about this interview. Uh, most of you know Mike Henson for his co-starring role with Robert August and Bruce Brown's 1964 surf classic, The Endless Summer. Today he's going to share with us um, his journey the last uh, several years and his art of surfboard making and his life. So. Here we go. You ready to go in? For sure. Before we play a game of backgammon, I want to talk yes. to you a little bit. Um, first, I want to talk to you about your book, okay. Transcendental Memories of a Surf Rebel. Now, what was the motivation behind writing this book, and were you kind of hesitant at first on sharing this much of your life? Uh, actually, I started out with a hundred names of people I knew in surfing, mm -hmm. and then I started writing about them and all my experiences with them. It was all scribble writing. I figured, well, later maybe I could look at it and figure it out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just so, you know, I'd have a, a, a name of a chapter and that would lead me into this other Yeah, it's know. a very fascinating book and it's, it's, it's a very colorful, vivid look at, at your life. Huh. Not just surfboard shaping, but, but a bunch of different things that happened in yeah. your life and you were very uh, forthcoming. I was con you know, trying to get myself um, to confess all my whatever. Confess all your sins. So went, instead of not, going not to AA. Of their sins. <laughs> oh no, I went to AA, I went to NC, I went to, you, you name them, I've, I've gone through what them. What was there. it like traveling around doing a surf film during, you know, time near war and uncertainty? What was that like for you? We actually came to Africa and, and came upon the perfect wave there at Cape St. Francis that the film really became in some you know, we could all see it, you know, go, oh yes, now, now I know what it's all about. The whole psychedelic experience was just too great, you know what I mean? You wake up one morning, everything's real colorful, everything's perception, you're just going, ha ha, you just know when you have something going on. Mm -hmm. One day it just goes, whoo, 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 something happens, you go, oh wow, cool. It's like this interview and stuff like right. this, you know? Um, and so you just roll with a snowball. I can I'm so obsessed that I'd go down the cliffs with three boards, you know, wrapped up in bags with, with, with golf scraps on them, you know, like this, and yeah. truck it down with a bag of fins like this, go down there, and then, you know, maybe use one fin or something like that, and, you know, but, but right. sometimes we'd sit there and go through the fins. You with, know? with shaping, it seems like everybody's a shaper this day, just like everybody thinks they're a writer. You have shaper <laughs> shaping or in Or musicians, there. like, like American Idol or something See, like exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the American Idol show with Mike Henson. These are two of the designs that are considered a white knight. And they all have five fins. These are just vehicles, you know. Mm -hmm. And I just like to get these uh, young uh, whippersnappers that want to take it to the limits, you know. And I just dial them in, send them out there, and they fly. <laughs> Exciting stuff. So you guys better stay tuned and pay attention. <laughs> There must be some kind of way out of here.